Hi, Bothered Brigade. Here's what's bothering me today. Uh, the internet is back, apparently, but perhaps only sporadically, uh, because I basically made a deal with Ancient Eldritch Horrors, and I paid a steep price for this answer to my weird and desperate prayers. But with that, we're going to quickly try and do a little video about the current snowstorm and a bunch of stories I've been hearing and also experienced myself. So... Let's start with me, I guess. So I was again called into work this morning um, and we were told, you know, yeah, no, got to still show up, even though we all knew that this massive snowstorm in Ontario was coming, but we were told, nope, still got to go into work. So, okay, yep, fine. I'll, I'll do my best, try and get there on time, managed to make it on time, but that's besides the point. What happened was we go through, we try and do what we can. And then, of course, the situation outside just gets worse and worse in terms of the weather. We go out, or we start to go out, and like 15, 20 minutes into being on road, they say, you know what, no, it's it's very much unsafe, it's too dangerous to drive, everyone come back. And then we get back, everything's, you know, chaos of trying to organize where people can or can't go, because now there's a massive congregation of vehicles and we're trying to deal with the road. So it's not a good scene. So it took a while before we were done. And even then we don't know if we're going to get paid, you know, a full day's wages or just for the, you know, handful of hours that we worked. And so that's kind of upsetting, but you know, good in the interest of, okay, for the sake of safety, we're going to pull people back. Sorry, but this is a story that I'm hearing from lots of other people. Lots of other people saying, well, uh, can you come into work? You only live like a hour's walk away, so you know, sure you might be late, but uh, please come in. And like, sure, I know that the people who can work from home, they're definitely gonna be doing that, but I've been hearing lots of stories of people being called into work for work that doesn't even necessarily need to happen Again, while there's a snowstorm, you know, buses are jackknifed, transport trucks are drifting off the roads and blocking roads. There's accident after accident or people can't see where they're driving. So they're off in a ditch. So, you know, tow trucks are just going hither and thither all over the place. Uh, plows, obviously understandable. They're out there, but they can actually clear the stuff instead. There's so many grocery workers, fast food workers, couriers like myself, Various other people in the service industry have still had bosses calling both last night and this morning saying, so you're coming into work, right? And this is deeply bothersome because did you take a look outside? You can't see it right here, but there's snow piling up outside this basement window. We knew that this was coming. And yet for some reason, there wasn't any kind of serious total like leadership of you know what let's just all collectively cut our losses for tomorrow everyone stay in no point trying to go outside and getting stuck etc like just no it's okay people understand it's you know crazy snowstorm so that's it no worries but we didn't people still wanted the economy to chug merrily along in spite of a truly massive blizzard and snowstorm that is dumping tens of centimeters of snow when you know it's too bad in terms of like the level of snow for canadians you know it's a lot of snow and yet for some reason there's the people in power saying you got to be there or you got to try to be there even if it's unsafe to do so whether due to the snow or the pandemic the agents and enforcers of capitalism couldn't go one goddamn day without an attempt to try and keep the system chugging merrily along, even though it's resulted in all the aforementioned problems and delays and just kind of useless efforts and danger and accidents and delays. They should have just eaten that in the first place, but they couldn't because all they saw was not even, you know, money and profit. All they saw was that they needed to keep this brutal system running. It was not about the people. It wasn't about society. It was about keeping this system going out of desperation due to an act of nature.
So instead of ending on that Doomer note, let's use that as motivation for a couple things. First off, this system would absolutely collapse in just a handful of days if we all seriously got our act together in terms of organizing, which means now, especially if a lot of us are home, now's the time to do that. Reach out to your neighbors, you know, shovel some driveways, do a little door knocking around if it's safe to do so and just say, hey, you know, anyone need anything? I know things are crazy out there. Can I help you help just take this moment to build up some community? I'm hopefully going to even go out and snowshoe a bit because, hey, plenty of great powder for that now. But I'm also going to take a moment to quickly go around the neighborhood that I'm in and just make sure that people have what they need and remind people that there is a community here that cares. And it's not based on any kind of profit motive, unlike the system we are forced to participate in. And the fact that that system tried to see its own continued function and salvation above the benefits of the entire society that helps keep that system going... That is definitely what's bothering me today.